Hello, I am Mary Antoniadu and today I'm going to be talking to you about EMG and action potentials. Generally, nerve conduction studies are divided into three groups. The sensory action potentials, the compound muscle action potentials and the electromyogram also known as an EMG. Now let's see what an EMG is. Electromyography is a technique used to evaluate and record the electrical activity produced by skeletal muscles. Information is transmitted along nerves as a series of electrical discharges carrying information in pulse repetition frequency and that is what is detected by an EMG. Here we have a picture of an electromyogram being performed on a patient. A um, needle electrode is in inserted through the skin into the muscle. The electrical activity for three stages is then observed. Firstly, we measure the insertional activity, that is when, is when the needle is inserted and the muscle had been previously at rest. Then the electrical activity when the muscle is at rest is studied, as the needle has stopped moving. And finally, the measurement of a contracted muscle is taken when the patient is asked to contract the muscle smoothly. Further below, uh, the two figures show us how insertional and spontaneous activity look on an electromyogram respectively. In the first figure, we can see how the muscles respond to the needle electrode. Action potentials appear and then they stop as soon as the needle has stopped moving. And don't worry, I'm going to be talking about action potentials later on. If there is any activity beyond the insertion of the needle, that is called spontaneous activity. And we can see it in the second figure here. This is usually abnormal and could be due to nerve and or muscle damage. Then the patient is asked to contract the muscle slowly. So a few motor units are observed in the beginning and the firing increases as the muscle effort increases. So at the maximum contraction, as we can see here, there's so many action potential that it makes it hard to distinguish them individually. Now let's see what are action potentials. Action potentials are the impulses fired by a motor unit and it is carried down the motor neuron to the muscle. The sum of all the electrical activity is called a motor unit action potential, MUAP, and this is what is evaluated during an EMG. Abnormal results of an EMG could be evaluated by the shape and the size of the action potentials. For neuropathic diseases, action potentials have twice the normal amplitude. Uh, the action potential also um, is increased and the motor unit number in the muscle is decreased. For myopathic diseases, the action potential duration is decreased, the area to amplitude ratio of the action potential is reduced and the motor unit number is also decreased. Most of the time, nerve conduction testing is also done alongside an EMG. This is done to diagnose neurological diseases. So the nerve conduction velocity, NCV, is what we're actually looking for. NCV measures how fast electrical signals move through a nerve from the stimulating to the recording electrode. So basically, several flat metal disc electrodes are attached to the skin with tape. A shock emitting electrode is placed over the nerve and a recording electrode is placed over the muscles controlled by that nerve. So the speed of the response could be found using this equation right here, V equals D over T, where T is the latency, time between onset of stimulus and the response, and D is the distance between stimulating and recording electrodes. Here I've given an example of where EMG can be used and this is prosthetics. So a myoelectrical controlled hand prosthesis uh, design can work using an EMG as we can see here. The bicep contracts and an EMG signal is sensed by this design. 
The EMG signal is then amplified and filtered and then converted to a pulse that drives the thermometer, uh, which in order opens a prosthetic hand. The system can also determine the type of grasp a human wants to use and the amount of force involved, which is amazing. And this opens up a scenario where amputees will have the best hand processes uh, that have ever been invented. So here is a video showing a thumb moving using an EMG that measures the muscle activity. Thank you for listening.